In the middle of the ocean on a tiny island lived a kitten named Train Jack Doobie. Although he had many brothers and sisters, he was quite shy and spent much of his time alone, playing ball, catching bugs, and napping in a box next to the shore. One day when he was fast asleep, a wave touched the side of his box and gently rocked him away on the deep, dark sea. After a time, Train Track Doobie woke to a sweet, unfamiliar voice. He peeked over the edge of his box and saw a beautiful mermaid sitting on a rock. Frightened at first, Train Track Doobie hissed and tried to hide in his box. He arched his back and his fur stood on end. The mermaid was also startled, but bravely made the first move. My name is Flowers. What's your name? She asked. Train Track Doobie didn't answer. I've never seen anything like you. What are you? She inquired. He didn't respond. Would you like to swim with me? The kitten said nothing. Frustrated, the mermaid was about to swim away when she caught a glimpse of a ball in the kitten's box. Want to play ball? She asked. Train Jack Doobie was stumped. How would we play ball? He asked. You like the water and I can't swim. You have a tail and I have feet. We are too different to play together. We are too different to be friends. The mermaid had an idea. I think I know how we can play together. If I push you to shore, then you can play from the beach and I can play from the ocean. Train Jack Doobie nodded with uncertainty. The mermaid pushed his box to an island and they began to play. After hours of fun, the mermaid had to say goodbye and return to her home under the sea. Train Jack Doobie looked thoughtfully at his new friend and said, Even though we are different, we have some things in common. I'm so glad I got to know you, and I'm so happy we are friends. The mermaid blew the kitten a kiss and swam home. Train Jack Doobie was alone on a strange island. Not knowing what to do, he wandered into the jungle and was suddenly caught up in a large web. Who disturbs my home? commands a giant princess, commanded a giant princess spider. It's me, Train Track Doobie. I'm awfully sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. As soon as I get myself free, I will be on my way, he said as he bowed to the princess spider. Good, said the princess. I am a beautiful princess spider with eight elegant legs. You are a furry, flea bitten feline. There is no point in you hanging around because we are too different to play together. We are too different to be friends. Train Jack Doobie agreed. He did not want to be friends with a scary royal spider. He just wanted to be on his way. As the two worked together to free the kitten, they both were distracted by a sound. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. A fly landed right between Train Track Doobie's eyes. He and the spider looked at each other with excitement. Get it! Get it! The princess spider squealed. Train Track Doobie jumped and pawed. The spider scurried and spun more web. Before they knew it, the unlikely pair had spent the afternoon chasing and trapping insects. Train Track Doobie looked thoughtfully at his new friend and said, even though we are different, we have some things in common. I'm so glad I got to know you, and I am so happy we are friends. The princess spider gave Train Track Doobie an eight-armed hug and crawled back into her throne of web. Train Track Doobie went deeper into the jungle. He looked around and saw the strangest creature with long arms and a big and big eyes hanging from a tree. Feeling brave, Train Track Doobie called out, Hello, is anybody over there? The creature looked at him and blinked ever so slowly. What kind of animal are you? Train Track Doobie asked. After a long pause, the creature said, I am a sloth. Train Track Doobie had never seen a sloth but wanted to keep making friends. Do you want to play? Train Track Doobie asked. 
The sloth looked at him perplexed and said, How would we play together? I am slow and you are fast. I have long arms and you have short arms. We are too different to play together. We are too different to be friends. The sloth yawned and turned his head to find the warmth of the sun. Train Track Doobie turned his head in the same direction and let out a gigantic yawn of his own. The kitten was tuckered out from playing ball with the mermaid and catching insects with insects with the princess spider. He looked at the sloth and had an idea. Say, do you like taking naps? The sloth's eyes lit up because that was his most favorite thing to do. Would you like to take a nap with me? Train Jack Doobie asked. The sloth agreed and came down from his tree and wrapped his long arms around the kitten. The sun smiled down upon the two, upon them as the two had the most glorious sleep. After a time, Train Jack Doobie woke up looked at his new friend and said, Even though we are different, we have some things in common. I am so glad I got to know you, and I am so happy we are friends. The sloth smiled, nodded, and fell back to sleep. It was getting late. Train Jack Doobie wandered back to the beach and walked to the edge of the water. He whispered to the waves, Is there anybody who can help me? I need a boat to take me home. I miss my family. The water began to bubble and swirl. From the dark depths, his mermaid friend appeared. She called a giant octopus that pulled a wrecked boat from the ocean floor. The octopus used his eight limbs to patch the holes with seaweed, clams, and fish. The princess spider joined in and spun a fabulous sail that would catch the wind and take him home. What can I do to help? asked the sloth sleepily. Will you keep me company on my voyage home? asked Train Track Doobie. Of course, said the sloth. When the boat was finished, the octopus extended his arms and gently placed the sloth and kitten on the boat. The princess spider rowed the sail and the mermaid swam alongside them. The sea began to glow as jellyfish made a brilliant pathway for the boat to sail. The kitten looked around at his crew of new friends, and as the boat sailed towards his tiny island home, he thought, Even though we are different, we all have things in common. I'm so proud of myself for being brave, and I am so happy to have new friends. Train Jack Doobie's heart was filled with love.